The Canadian Institutes of Health Research and the Graham Beck Foundation have joined forces to bring about transformational change in youth and adolescent mental health care in Canada. In June 2013, 17 applicant groups along with the TRAM Selection Panel and Partners spent three days in intense discussion and debate. This unique workshop, which was both collaborative and competitive, was truly inspiring and hope-filled. Now, young people are the forgotten people of mental health, really, even though they bear the, the main burden of, of the onset of mental ill health from teenage years through to the mid-twenties. Um, we see an incredible increase in, in mental health problems during this period, mental health and substance misuse, and yet it's the weakest part of our healthcare system. The Beck Foundation continued with that idea and ended up meeting with Alain Baudet, who is the President and Director General of CIHR, Canadian Institutes of Health Research, and Tony and Alain realized that they had very similar aims and goals to try and improve the quality of mental health for youth and adolescents. And out of that was born the idea of TRAM. You're here today because of your strong dedication to helping youth who live with mental illness. The partnership moved um, from trying to, you know, discovering we had exactly the same kind of outcomes in mind, uh, and then working together to, to kind of build a process to get us there. Trying to pull together groups of people that have the same passion for changing things for youth, but who haven't had the opportunity before to be exposed to one another and to work together. The whole purpose of this event in Montreal has been to allow those teams to come together to hear what each other were proposing and then to find ways of collaborating or perhaps teaming up so that their proposals are even stronger. These 17 groups have come together with the view of trying to strengthen those proposals even further. So strengthen them in terms of the quality of the ideas and strengthen them in terms of the quality of the people who are involved. The objective is to create a, a network, a pan-Canadian network that will essentially revolutionize at some point um, mental health care and how young people are treated. In our own family, we'd had issues with one of our children suffering from quite severe depression and that had been really difficult. And to feel that we could be part of something that in Canada was making a difference for those uh, sort of people was just fantastic. We're taking in everything that we hear and we're saying like, how do we react to it? What, does this make sense to us, does it not? You get young people working together, engaged, excited about this issue so that more people feel comfortable reaching out to the help that the top end is developing. It's been a super empowering experience for me to be part of, to be asked as a youth at the table what matters to me. I think that's the whole question here. We keep the youth voice front and center that we are being heard and that we can remind them about what it's actually like for youth on the ground with their families and their communities and what the impact in real life and the real world is going to be on us, not just in principle but actually in practice. Mm -hmm.